Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to my first tutorial. Today we will be installing Pat Wilson's campaign generator for IL-2 Battle of Stalingrad. Firstly, you're going to want to come to this website, the download section of the Pat Wilson's campaign generator website, and you're going to want to find the version uh, that you want for the game that you want it for. So on the left here, we have Pat Wilson's campaign generator BOS Battle of Stalingrad. 13.11.0 .zip updated on the 7th of the 8th 2022 so this is the one we're going to want today if you're here looking for flying circus you're going to want the flying circus one pwcg flying circus fc 13.11.0 and if you're here for tank crew it's at the very bottom pat wilson's campaign generator tc tank crew alpha once you've located the version you want just give it a click Download it to wherever you want to download it and just remember where that is because we're going to need that file in a second. Once the file is downloaded, uh, locate it on your PC. In my instance, it is in my downloads folder and drag the uh, .zip file to your installation location for IL2. In my instance, it's in uh, Steam, Steam apps, common um, IL2 Battle of Stalingrad, the main root folder. Once you have dragged the file across, right click on it and extract the files here. Now I'm using WinRAR and that is an option for WinRAR. If you're using WinZip or something similar, you may have to extract it to a separate folder and then drag that folder into the root IL2 folder. But you are going to look for this. You want Pat Wilson's campaign generator BOS folder inside your IL2 Battle of Stalingrad folder. This is what you should be seeing, with or without this. You want these four yellow folders here. Okay, so inside the Pat Wilson's Campaign Generator BOS folder, we have these seven files. The only one we need to care about right now is the EXE, Pat Wilson's Campaign Generator. So I'm going to, and I recommend you do the same, send to desktop create shortcut while I'm here, and then I'm gonna open it and we'll do the initial setup of the mod itself. Next, we're going to go back to the IL2 root folder, open up data folder, scroll down until we find the startup config, and we're gonna open this with any uh, text word document editing thing you have. So I'll be using WordPad. Once you've opened the file, you, I will be control Fing and typing in mission and looking for mission text log. This has to say equals one. Without it, you won't get your debriefs and that's extremely important. The default is zero. This has to say one. Very, very important. Once open, this is what you'll be faced with. Wonderful, simple UI. First things first, you have to enter the planes that you own. This is the first step you have to do before it will let you do anything. I'm very fortunate. I own every plane in the game. So I'm gonna select all and I'm going to accept. Once the planes are selected, you can create your first campaign. Now we're just setting up a single player campaign today. Uh, if there's any demand for it, I will show you how to set up a multiplayer campaign. Just comment below. But for now, single player mode, we're going to be picking the VVS, the Soviet Air Force, and I'm going to call it, I mean, whatever you want. But for, in my case, it's a hurricane campaign. Done. Complete data entry up here on the right. Once you've hit the complete entry button, you're faced with this screen. Uh, here, you're gonna enter your player name, first and foremost. And in my case, it has been picked for me. Pevzovich Plazinski. Then you have to hit next step. Don't hit enter. My campaign map, I'll be picking Stalingrad. Next step, you get the idea. Start date, fine. Roll, so this will dictate the, in the next screen what squadrons you get access. So I'll put fighter for now, rank fine. Um, and then you've got the 11th Fighter Air Regiment, which used lag threes. You've got uh, 495, P4. Do you get the idea? If I go back and change this to bomber, you'll get different squadrons, different planes. So if you're looking for a plane in particular, you might have to fiddle with this a little bit until you find what you are looking for. So that's me having done all my steps. Uh, when you've got what you want at the bottom here, you're going to click next step one last time. All this is going to gray out and you want to hit up on the left, hit create campaign. Once the campaign is created, you will be faced with your squadron area, I guess you'd call it. These are your mates and buddies. 
Um, on the left here you have a series of buttons. Uh, I recommend clicking through them and exploring. Configuration especially is important, simple configuration, just to... Uh, Pat Wilson's can be quite demanding, so if you're on a not top spec PC, fiddle with doctrines. There are a lot of guides online. Have a look, see what suits you. Uh, any questions, do chuck them in the comments, I'll do my best to answer them there. When you are ready to create your mission, you click on the big mission button in the top left. And this is quite a nice touch. So I'm in an, uh, an attacker squadron because I want to fly the Hurricane. But I can click on mission with role and I can click here fighter and it will generate a mission based on the fighter role, which is nice. Uh, you could even do an IL-2 and be a fighter if you liked. It's a new addition and it's very, very welcome. If you're not bothered about the type of mission you get and you want to roll the dice, simply click mission once and you're taken to whatever it is you have to do. In this case, we're attacking a bridge near Zerki. If you're happy with the mission, you want to click through all these um, all these screens, looking at the maps and such, looking at the waypoints, looking at the pilots, all this could be changed and tweaked with. Just click around, see what you want to do. Um, when you're happy with it, click accept mission it will generate and i'll take you through the next step when the mission has stopped generating you want to fire up il2 and you'll obviously be familiar with this screen this is the main main title screen hit missions and you want the pwcg folder and it's here attacking the bridge near zerki hit start play the mission obviously and when you're done follow the next steps so once you have finished the mission, you want to come back to Pat Wilson's. You can leave it running in the background. I do habitually close it, but either way, fire it up again, get this screen up, hit the mission button, hit combat report. Once you have filled in your claims and read the debriefing, etc., your main, um, your, your stats will be updated, your, your claims and that will be processed. And that is it. You are playing Pat Wilson's campaign generator for IL-2 Battle of Stalingrad. It's not too difficult. It is worth the extra effort and there is a little bit of extra effort you'll get far more dynamic missions and you'll get far more surprises using pat wilson's than the vanilla campaign also you'll get far more variety in both friendly and enemy vehicles and planes which is very nice and very welcome that should be it if i've missed anything out i do apologize i will review this frequently keep it up to date um, if you have any questions, chuck them in the comments. And yeah, if you liked what you saw, please do hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. Plenty more IL2 content on the channel, as you can see. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. I will hopefully see you next time.